Capricorn. It's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Capricorn with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, so Capricorn, um, looks like you might be in a relationship where it's disorganized and somebody's just being lazy and somebody's kind of sold you a dream or you're just waiting for your dream to come true in this relationship. You've kind of given up agency to make change in your life. You've given up the responsibility to actually change things. Um, you've let go. Um, you feel like you're losing control or the upper hand. Somebody could be drinking, smoking, eating, just indulging or overindulging too much in this connection to where they're not focused uh, on the connection. There also could be somebody here who's discontent in love and, and uh, restless. They could want to explore elsewhere. This could be the cheating spouse who makes promises they have no intention of fulfilling those promises. But at the same time, we've got somebody here who's not moving, who's not making any changes. Any, They're not standing their ground. They're not, you know, asserting themselves. They're not being confident enough to um, stand up for themselves. We've got somebody here who there's a breakdown in a close relationship. But there could be, you know, room for reconciliation. Somebody's waiting for their shifts to come in. They're waiting for, you know, it, it's all going to turn out fine is what I'm hearing. But this person is not listening to their intuition. They're not listening or seeing what's before them. They're burying their head in the sand. It's better for them to not make a decision right now and then come back to it. This could be you. This could be someone you're dealing with. You need to weigh the pros and the cons of making this decision either to stay or to go, to negotiate. Right now, you just feel like it's impossible for you to work through this or move through this connection or whatever it may be. But you feel that way because there's no cooperation. There's somebody who's absolutely doing whatever it is they want to do. It could be you, Capricorn. It could be someone else. It could be the other person. I don't know. But there's an energy of where somebody's just kind of just giving up. It's like they're just, this is my life. This is what I do. This is how it's going to be. And maybe things will turn out fine. You have the prayer shell. Some of you need to engage in prayer, meditation, uh, affirmation. Some of you are waiting for money or you're waiting for things to turn over for you. You feel like you're in a bad place. You have negative, ruminating thoughts um, in your mind. You just don't know how to get out of this. It could even be financial for some of you. You have no plan, no course of action. And you are not listening to spirit. Therefore, you're not having a new beginning. You're not going in any new direction. It's you being stuck and stagnant. This could collapse. It could break down right before you. Because somebody is not committed. Or they're not taking the commitment serious. Somebody's thinking, I'm here thinking about other, other women, other men. I don't know. It could even be same sex. Somebody is thinking elsewhere. Their mind is elsewhere. They no longer want to. They probably aren't putting any energy behind seeing the relationship through and working through it and and the other person is just allowing it. You have the lack shell. So something is lacking, either lacking in energy, lacking in affection, in, in time, 
and effort. Somebody is not giving anything to something. Somebody is definitely, um, something is lacking. There's an energy of not moving forward, just being procrastination. Also confusion. Saying things that you just know aren't true. No, saying things you know you're not going to do. This could be what someone is doing in, in terms of you. This could be somebody who has an outside person or outside persons. There's no growth in this connection or whatever connection. There's no growth. There's um, no abundance. There is um, lack. Abundance just means um, more than, you know. Um, so, and But we have lack here. There's just lack of affection, lack of time, lack of everything. So, Capricorn, if this is what you're dealing with, the cards are saying the advice is um, with the Eight of Swords here, it says uh, take a step back and um, come up with a game plan. See things from a different perspective. Uh, see beyond uh, your limited uh, perspective. Because some you're limiting yourself like, oh, well, I can only have this or it's just going to be like this or you've put a cap on yourself. You know, you've given yourself or this relationship its own glass ceiling, you know, its own ceiling. So you need to see beyond your limited perspective here. Um, and take action because you're feeling trapped, maybe even suffocated. Or this is how somebody else is feeling. Somebody's feeling powerless. Someone is wanting you to come and rescue them. Or if you're waiting for somebody to come and rescue you. Or you're trying to be the damsel in distress. Or this is what someone else is doing. Somebody wants to be rescued. Somebody thought that something was going to be better or it was going to be like this, but it's not like that. To move forward, somebody, you, you guys need to have some plan, some course of action. There needs to be mediation um, and then uh, a plan. So Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you.